So we just covered in the previous video um, blood group antigens, uh, type A, type B, type AB, type O individuals, and why it's important to check the type of blood um, before you give it your blood transfusion. So there are these molecules on the surface of our blood cells um, known as the ABO antigens. There are other sets of molecules on the surface of our blood cells that can be different between individuals, and we call these the rhesus antigens, or there are a number of different ones. The one that is spoken about most is the rhesus D antigen. And this is going to come into play when we talk about an, uh, individuals who are maybe type A, plus, a positive or a negative blood, or O positive or O negative. The positive and negative refer to the presence or absence of the rhesus D antigen. So you see two blood cells here. Uh, the one on the left has the rhesus D antigen. The one on the right lacks the rhesus D antigen. And again, it comes back to genetics. If you inherit the gene that codes for the proteins that are responsible for constructing the rhesus D antigen, then you either have it present on your cells. If you lack the gene, you don't have it present. So we would say the cell on the left is Rh positive or Rh D positive. Uh, the cell on the right, Rh negative or Rh D negative. So uh, how does this come into play with blood transfusions? The individual on the right, they are Rh negative. So if that is true, then they have the potential to generate anti-RH antibodies because RH to them is non-self molecules and we have the ability to generate antibodies to anything that is non-self. So the person on the right potentially can make anti-RH antibodies. So if we donate blood to these individuals, what kind of blood can we give? Well, the person on the right, um, if they get RH positive blood, they're going to attack it with anti-RH antibodies. Um, but they can tolerate RH negative blood. The person on the left can tolerate both types of blood because they won't make antibodies to the RH factor. So what does this tell us? This tells us that uh, the um, RH negative blood is the better blood to donate because everyone can take that blood. So going back to combining this information with our first uh, previous video, um, the best blood for donating is type O negative blood. Everyone can take that blood. Uh, a type, people, type A people, type B people, AB, O, and O negative blood, best blood to give because you can give it to both people who are both negative and positive. 6.6% uh, of the population is this type of blood, uh, who has the, this type of blood, and um, these individuals are special people. They should donate as much blood as they can because everyone can accept it. This is the best blood to donate. So if you're O negative, uh, get yourself to a blood donation center. Um, lastly, uh, in, when talking about blood transfusions, we don't talk about matching MHC types. When we talk in later videos about donating an organ, like a kidney, um, it's going to be essential to um, try to match as closely as possible the MHC molecules between the donor and the recipient. So MHC molecules, type 1 and type 2, you're going to find them on the surface of many cells. They are responsible for many types of tissue rejections, which we'll talk about in later videos, but they are not responsible for attacking uh, or rejecting blood types in, the, uh, in blood transfusion. And the reason being is that uh, red blood cells lack expression of MHC class 1 and MHC class 2. So you don't have to tissue type uh, blood for um, MHC uh, antigens. And again, like I said, we'll talk about that more in later videos.